Hello again, everyone, and this is Amir Miel reporting in for Slash Camp, and I am here with a special episode, and I will be unraveling, or unboxing, rather, my new copy of Assassin's Creed 3. This is the limited edition, so this was the big, big box that you could pre-order. I picked this up for about 120. Um, so yeah, let's see what's in it. It has this awesome plastic panel. I, know, I always thought these were pretty neat and fancy when they can line them up. And the box itself is relatively just plain. going to open it. First off, packaging. It takes, uh, it takes a little bit to get out of here. Let's start with this booklet. Well, that's not so much a a booklet as a case for everything else. And as far as I know, everything in here, they have like a belt buckle, the flag. Um, the flag is actually supposed to be a full flag, and it has um, George Washington's journal. So I'll actually, I'll show you the flag first, because this was actually what I was most excited about. Because I wanted to see how big, and if I can actually fly, this flag. So let's unravel. Oh wow. So decent in size. Very decent in size. Um it's pretty huge. So I would have to say probably about the uh average size for a flag that you can pick up maybe at your local department store and um, I'll have to check I don't know whether flying something that's not the American flag itself is actually legal so I'll have to check into that please do if you've picked up this box set I don't want you to have to like you know take down your amazing flag because some official told you it wasn't, you know, patriotic. Some people get pretty touchy about that. Um, I had to fold it up properly. I want to do it, keep it folded until I actually use it, because I don't want it to get wrinkled, and I want the folds to stay where it is. I'm very pristine with my uh, my stuff. I figured, hey, I, I spent spent $120 on it, I might as well, you know, keep it in good condition. Something I'm realizing, this is a pain to fold. So, yeah, there we go. And we're back to square one. So I will put this back in its plastic. Like I said, I wouldn't, wouldn't advise flying it unless you 100% know. I'll probably put it up. Actually, I'll probably put it up behind me. That might not be bad. I have two cats, though, so it's a little iffy with uh, what they'll tear down and what they won't tear down, and I don't want that ruined. So we're going to dive back into this uh, holder. And the next in store is the Assassin's Creed belt box. This thing I think is pretty neat. And, uh, I was actually expecting just this, or uh, <laughs> just this part of it when I heard about the belt buckle. Because I'm actually hoping to do a cosplay at some point soon. I'm not quite sure exactly which one I want to do, or whether I want to do one of the female assassins. Uh, but as you can tell, I'm actually. I'm wearing my uh my 
Assassin's Creed hood right now. I figured it was appropriate. But I figured it's appropriate for unboxing it. So as I fix my headset again. But yeah. So item number two is the belt buckle. Pretty nifty. I don't know exactly if I'd put it on anything. I'm not, you know, for the whole plate belt buckles. They tend to get in the way. And of course, you have the game. And as you can tell, I have not opened this yet. So this is my first time actually diving into this box. So when I'm about to play it, I'll unplastic it. Uh, until then, I don't really want to worry with it so much. And the reason I keep looking down is that's where my monitor is, and I want to make sure you guys can actually uh, see what I pull out. So, next up is the George Washington Journal, which is really nifty. Um, I was kind of expecting a little bit less pictures, but it still has still has a lot of the uh, like writings. So you can see that it has his like date of things. So that's actually pretty neat. That's a nice keepsake to have. Probably it probably follows along with like the game, which at least I'm hoping. So if I'm playing and I get to a time point, I'd like to come back to the journal and see whether at the same uh, thing has happened in the journal as it has for the game. But other than that, that seems to be it for the insert. So, yeah, that was everything. So, I like how it's set up so you can actually, like, keep everything in, in its place. I'm gonna make sure my, my flag is positioned correctly and that way I can close it and put it back in the box. So we're going to go back into the box because one of the biggest things that I really wanted out of this entire deal was this figure. And I'm not going to take, like I said, I don't usually take it out, take stuff out of their packaging unless I know I'm going to be placing it somewhere. But this is absolutely phenomenal. I don't know if you can see the detail on this. But it's incredible. It looks like each part of him is like a separate piece. And the flag comes and you can actually attach it to your your stand. But yeah, I'm actually um, going to have to find someplace special to put this. Because too many intricate items I don't want the, the cats to get a hold of. Speaking of, <laughs> she's already curious about what I brought out. So I'm going to make sure to put that back and put that back in there. And when I'm ready, I will pull it out and I will play it. So I'll make sure I have everything so that nothing gets lost and the cats don't mess with it. So that is the Assassin's Creed limited edition, or known as the collector's edition. This is the complete box. This is the American version. Um, I know e Europe had a couple of other things that were in here, like the coin. Um, I don't think they had the journal, and I know for certain they didn't have the flag. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching my unboxing of Assassin's Creed 3, and I can't wait to play. And hopefully I will have you guys there when I play. So you'll get to see my, my first moments of gameplay, which will be awesome. So, I shall see you guys later.